gopi gopi ga vaiya u baga baga bajaiya we have with us the sandeep re ji and uh, 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 one of the most reputed filmmakers of our time and uh, we are having this conversation particularly because uh, she sandeep re has is i would say almost integral to the very idea of uh, gopi gayan baga bain in multiple ways you know i'm i'm reacting to it as mm-hmm. a person who has grown up mm-hmm. gopi gayan baga bain uh, i have heard about this little uh, story that uh, it was because of you that your father the great shatijit re mm-hmm. uh, you know decided to make uh, gopi gayan baga bain could you mm-hmm. tell us a little bit about that well uh, we have to go back a little more a bit more because uh, you see let me talk about my great grandfather yes. i mean uh, he was a very talented person okay. and he was a musician he yeah. could play the piano the organ and he played the violin and he was an illustrator yeah. a painter a writer yeah. a poet and above all he introduced half tone blocks in india he had his own printing press oh, yeah. and uh, he started a you know children's magazine called shondesh Yeah. which means sweet meat and yeah. also news also in message, bengali yeah. also message yeah. so that was way back in 1912 yes. so he started the magazine and he wrote and gopi ga and baga bain was first published in shondesh yes. way back in you know 12 13 14 <laughs> and uh, my father who was born in 1921 he read it much later i mean he was absolutely mesmerized by the story yeah he and yeah well <laughs> it it's a short story yeah. and uh, when he revived shandesh shandesh closed down you know uh, in in 30s late 20s early 30s uh, so when he, my father revived shandesh mm. that was one of the first stories he reprinted okay. and uh, that was in 1961 61, 61. and uh, at what he was already an established filmmaker then yeah. he was he was you no know, lot of awards and major films and i had complained to <laughs> him once that uh, make something for us yeah. i mean all your films are too you know to grown up for grown ups and uh, serious and <laughs> a lot of deaths you know yeah. so and uh, he he was he was he he no no he he took it very nicely and yeah. said let's see let's see i may do one one day for you yeah. uh so gopi gayan baga bain was made in 1969 uh, 1969 it was planned 1966 you know way uh, 1966 and uh, there was one producer who came forward to finance the film and we did a recce in rajasthan and and you know west bengal and uh, how old were you then if i'm asked uh, i was about uh, 13 okay. 13 or 14 and then you know the the the, the song songs were all recorded dekhuri dekhuri noyun mili dekhuri noyun mili jogotir baha but then the producer backed oh. away <laughs> due to various reasons due to the budget i think because yeah. it was an expensive film 6 yeah. and a half lakhs yeah. in those days well, so it was huge a lot of so a lot of <laughs> a lot of special yeah. effects so uh, then you know it was it was very dis- my father was very disappointed and he made chiriya khana and some other films and then purnima datto hmm. of priya you know mm. the priya cinema house punima dotto came forward and said that i want to make uh, make gopi gan bagaman for for us will 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 finance the film and the film will be for my children mm. she had to you know yeah. origit dotto once <laughs> it was one of the biggest hits yes of you know of yeah. all my father's films yeah. and it ran for 8 months right. not <laughs> only uh, you know uh, has it ha- was it a 
commercial success I am, I am given to believe. Absolutely. But what I find it very phenomenal is that it, it has it has it has garnered the status of a cult film. A cult there film and no it has who has not stood seen the, the, the test of time, you know. And, and uh, the film where uh, Shatish Dre himself had done the music. Absolutely. And, and, and absolutely. And he, he was doing music for, you know, yeah. he started composing from 1961. Right. So, yeah. all his songs. Uh, so, you know, in a nutshell, I think uh, the film Gupi Gai and Bhagavan owes its existence to Sri Sandeep Ray because you asked <laughs> him to make a film. <laughs> this story is more than 100 years old now. Uh -huh. right? And there have been so many versions I know of plays, I know of uh, books yeah, written, plays, absolutely. and recently absolutely, Guzar yeah. sahab, uh, you know, translated into yeah. Hindi. Absolutely. Why do you think <laughs> it, it is like folklore, you know? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe, story? maybe the story. I mean, it's yeah. such an interesting story and my father developed it, you know, yeah. and uh, he made it into a, into a fantastic film. Fantastic, yeah. absolutely fantastic. One of the one of the best children's films ever, you know. Yeah, but you know, I uh, when I see the film today, and he it wanted is not to really a children's film. Uh, uh, no, 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 <laughs> that, uh, no, no. And he hated, you know, that that children's category. film category. And yeah. he said, "This is for everybody. Right. This is for everybody." And you discover new things. Discover new things. In thing? fact, when we were uh, working on uh, the animated version, hmm. uh, you know, Shilpa Ranade, the director. I know. I yeah, know. she uh, was involved in this the concept. Industry. Is unique, also. Yeah. In a, in a also, industry. absolutely. And she felt that it lends itself so beautifully to the animation version. See, yeah, absolutely, film, absolutely. Yeah. You, you, you know, you do it because not because you know you cannot shoot a live film, but you know you can do so many things. With absolutely, an yes, yes. So the same story that was written way back in 1912 hmm. hmm. is lending itself. It still to stands. <laughs> stands. And I think it stands for beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, you know, sure. absolutely. That's but what do you think is uh, the, the the relevance of the story? Obviously, it is phenomenally relevant. The political undercurrent. Because it's multi-level, you know. Multi -level, yeah. It's multi-level, yeah. and uh, you can you can identify. <laughs> I think it is, uh, it is extremely providential for us that uh, we happen to be releasing this film on the 50th year of uh, Gupi Gain Bhagavan. And we are planning to do an exhibition also. Yes, <laughs> so, so, I mean, it is like, uh, it is like almost, it's all ordained. So, it will be a double dhamaka. If you can introduce, you know, the, the poster of the film. We have the ghost <laughs> as a central <laughs> character here. So, we need your blessings. Absolutely. You have my blessings and GGBB it sounds very nice yeah. because the first <laughs> teaser poster of Gupi Gain was yeah. Guga Baba. Oh, really? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, it's <laughs> Guga Baba. So, Guga Baba. <laughs>